if you consider yourself any one of these kind of business owners, then this Canva video is for you. I'm going to share with you my 10 favorite Canva features, specifically for people that are trying to build their business, create professional looking materials to help them promote their business. So I created a fictitious business and I'm going to walk you through some of the different things that I really, really like about Canva and how it's helpful um, from um, the user friendly design all the way through to um, secrets on doing different sizes for different social media platforms. So let's get into it. So number one on my list is the user friendly design interface meaning they have lots of templates, but the interface itself, this is really great for non-graphic designers. Most graphic designers will go into a system, they will start with a blank canvas, have to put dimensions in, all these things, and that's really difficult if that's not what you um, know how to do. So let's start with just creating a simple business card for my fictitious company, and so let's start with finding a template. And the type of template that I want is a business card template. There we go. So we're going to search business card templates. And so what's interesting here is at the top, it gives you different types of designs um, for all different types of businesses, which I think is a great place to start. Um, because if you're a lawyer, you're going to want a different design and setup versus a, a cake decorating company. So I'm going to come over here. Um, I've seen it in the past. Yes, they have cake. Okay. So we're going to pull up cake, scan through these, and I really like this one. So then it's going to pull it up. It's actually giving me other options in case there's something else that I want to see. But this one I'm going to go with. It is a standard business card size, so that's, it's already sized properly. So this is great. This is a really, really great place to start. And so now all I need to do are make some changes. So maybe I want to change this picture. And then I can come over to photos and see if there's a different picture that I want to use. And I can type in cake decorating. And there's all different options here for me. Um, and I can try out different ones. I kind of like that one, or maybe this one. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, now I just need to change things. Okay, so that looks really good. I'm happy with that. Um, I can move on. Now, if you're like many business owners and you start with creating a business card for your business versus building a brand, right? Because you're not marketing experts as well. That's okay. You can then take these different elements and then build a brand kit inside of Canva. And so that's number two on my list are brand kits. So once you've decided you've either uh, built your logo or you've built a business card or a flyer or a website or something first, you can take and retrofit that. Um, so let's take a look at brand kits. So here is the brand kit that I built out for Icing Dreams. I give it a name. Um, I have put my logos in here. So I have my logo on a white background, a black background, and then I've taken both of those and I've put them on transparent backgrounds. So that's why this one's hard to see because it's for a dark background. And then I've also put in my logos from that business card I created. The header was this fringy sage, um, the subheading was Arctic, and then um, different sizes. So once that's created, we can reuse this um, and pull from it in different places when we're creating designs versus having to write it down or remember it. So the next thing I'm going to show you is with the pro version, you have access to millions of stock and video imagery. And so that's actually what I did over here is when I did this search for 
cake decorating, it pulled up all of the stock photography that Canva has available. There's some that are free, but then there's Pro. And so you can continue to just look and go through, oh, I kind of like this one, so maybe I'm going to change it to this and see if that works. No, nope, it didn't work, so I'm going to put it back. And then there's the same for video. So if you have a digital piece that you're creating instead of a business card, you can look and see if there's footage for cake decorating. And it'll actually play in the preview. So let's say I wanted to create a digital version of this with a video that plays, I can do that instead, which I think is pretty cool. To me, this one feature of Canva Pro is worth the money because you can go and look for individual stock or video or get a subscription, and that subscription is actually gonna cost you more per month than it is to use Canva Pro where you're getting all of these additional features. So the next thing that I wanna show you from here as well is that there are quite a few uh, integrations and apps that you can get inside of Canva. Um, some of my favorites are uh, QR code creation, which I'm gonna show you a little bit later, but you can also link to your Google Drive so that you don't have to download and upload pictures. Um, they have emojis, but the other one I really like too is if you wanna embed a YouTube video, you can do that as well. And there's tons of other integrations. I encourage you to explore all of this. So next on my list is smart mockups. So that's from the menu, you go to smart mockups and you see all these different mockups that you can make. Um, maybe you've decided that you want to sell merch. So you can actually come in here and put your logo and design on a mug. And voila, there you go. Um, you can save that mock-up. Um, you can adjust the image size. Maybe I wanna make it a little bit bigger. That's cool. So that's great if I wanna get a mug or something like that, but maybe I wanna create a promotion for um, Valentine's Day, right? Or for a birthday or something like that. And then, um, or I want to sell that mug. I can then take and put my logo on the mug that's sitting in the design. And then I can adjust the image, right? Make it a little bigger. And there we go, right? Now I can actually take that design and then pull it into something else. If I want to create a flyer, if I want to put it on a t-shirt, I can do all sorts of things, or maybe I want to create a Facebook post or some other type of social media post. I can now take this whole thing and pull it into that or make it part of a YouTube banner. This is where the options actually get endless. So the next thing I want to show you is editing images. You can pull your own images in and edit them, or if you did choose stock and you want to make changes to them, you can edit them as well. So I created this flyer, and um, it's just a promotion that I created for the business. Picked an image, I like the image, but what I don't like is that you can see the stuff in the background. So now I want to go through and see if I can, how I can edit this. So one thing you could do is you can just remove the background. And there you go. Um, that I don't particularly care for, so let's try something different. So instead of removing the background, which looks a little weird in this space, space I'm gonna actually um, adjust the autofocus of the background, which is pretty cool. All right, I like that better. And now I can actually blur it more and so that it really, you really can't tell what's back there. You know there's something back there, maybe there are tools, but it doesn't quite feel as messy. Now the next thing I can do here is I can use one of the um, integrations or the apps and you can actually generate QR codes directly inside of Canva and use them as part of your design. So this is a printed flyer and I'm doing a event here. So what I want is for people to sign up for the event. So I can actually put in the URL for the event sign up page and then I can customize this. 
Maybe I want to use um, my brand color here. Now here's the really cool thing, right? It's asking you for a color number. You can go into your brand, pull out the color number you want, copy it, paste it, and you're good to go. Then it's going to generate that QR code and put it right on there. And so I think I want this to be in the upper left-hand corner so that it stands out a bit. Nah, I don't like it there, so I'm going to put it right here. Okay, that makes me happy. So my flyer is ready to go. I love having a flyer, but sometimes those are a little too big. I would love to have this as a flyer and as a um, small card size. And so my next feature that I'm going to show you is one-click design resizing. So up here in the left corner, you see resize. I'm going to come up, open this, and um, I want it note card size, right? So the flyer is eight and a half by 11, standard, pretty standard flyer size, but note cards are a different size. So I'm going to click on this, and then I'm going to hit copy and resize because I want to keep my original plus this one. It's opening up a brand new window for me, and voila, we have been resized. And then I can actually change and move things around here if I wish to. Like maybe now that I have this extra space, I want to put my QR code in a different place on here. And maybe make it a little bigger. I can do that. If there's other things you want to do, maybe you decide you want to have a different picture, you can actually do that. You can actually resize and rescale the picture a little bit if you choose to. That's going to make me want to move my QR code again. And boom, there I have it. Now I have the note card size and the flyer, both from the original design, and that literally took me an extra minute or two. Now from here, the next feature I want to share with you is Canvas Print On Demand. So going back to my original, if I'm ready to print this, I can actually use Canvas Print feature, where they will print things for you, and that is the next thing I'm going to show you. So I can come in here, click Share, print your design, and this is a flyer, so I'm going to type in flyer, and it's giving me options for landscape or portrait. I'm going to go portrait, it's giving me the ability to change things if I want to, and then I can actually even, let's say I got a front and a back, maybe you didn't even think about what would you put on the back, you can actually add another page here and start designing the back of it, decide which type of paper you want, what finish, and then how many you want. The rule of thumb for printing is the more that you purchase, the um, less expensive per piece it's going to get. And then they offer free delivery. So this is really cool. You don't have to download it. You don't have to take it someplace. You don't have to download it here and upload it someplace else. And then the other cool feature that Canva is starting to implement are not only being able to do print designs, but t-shirts, um, you can do invitations, you can do water bottles and mugs and sweatshirts. Now I will say I've gone through this and their options are limited. Right now they've got like one bottle, one mug. But I have a feeling that over time as this grows, they're going to provide additional options because they're kind of set up that way. But for right now, those options are limited. But the print materials, um, availability, the quality of stock, all that good stuff for marketing materials is actually really great. So the last thing I'm going to share with you are uh, pre-sized templates. So just the size of the template for a lot of your different social media platforms. So I'm going to show over here, this is the easiest way to do it, is they've got Facebook, they've got Instagram stories, they've got video, they've got TikTok video, they've got YouTube banners, they've got YouTube thumbnails, meaning when you click on one of those or you search on one of them, it already pre-sizes the canvas for what you're trying to create. So even if I come back in here and I select a TikTok video, it's already pre-sizing it and it knows that it's a TikTok video. So now I can actually come in here and I can pull in different templates for a TikTok video. Right? I can take a background, I can pull it in, and then let's say I've created this and now I want to resize it. 
I can then take it and resize it to a LinkedIn video ad if I want to. Which is a completely different size than anything else, but then it preserves it. So this is going to make creating videos in multiple sizes easy for you, as well as any other type of social post that you're doing. Those are my 10 favorite features of Canva, why I think it's a great tool for any type of business owner that is trying to build a professional looking brand and business and still have to do the work themselves. If there were any of them that you want like more details on, definitely put it in the chat and I'll make a longer video for you with step-by-step -step instructions for each of them. I might do it for all of them anyway, but if there's ones that you guys want to see first, I'll prioritize those. So hopefully you found it helpful. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.